We're not in France and there is no honey, but this is French honey and you're gonna wanna make this. Our friend Greg came to cook some recipes with us, some of his favorites from the cornucopia, one of which is French honey, a recipe from 1880. Hi. Welcome. Hi. The recipe actually contains no honey, but is a sweet treat. French honey. French honey. Otherwise French honey. known as lemon curd. Uh, I will tell you that um, this is probably my second favorite recipe out of the cornucopia. French honey, made in the 1880s. It was okay. uh, Dr. Chase's recipe out of A.W. Chase, M.D. Okay. Uh, this is literally um, sugar, eggs, and lemons. It's doctor recommended. It's doctor recommended. <laughs> Four whole eggs and two egg yolks. Okay. I'm put those right into the bowl here. Get those eggs going. Go ahead and drop in the lemon juice. Okay. That's the uh, lemon juice of four or five lemons with the rind okay. of uh, one of them that has been grated. This, mm -hmm. even though it's a different recipe, I love eating this on Oxford pudding, which okay. is the other recipe that we have. Okay. Right. So my aunt would tell you that no, they are two totally different things. You're supposed to eat them separately. Don't combine them. Um, my uncle, her brother, would tell you that the proper way to eat French honey is with a spoon. With a spoon. Okay. Perfect. So we have our eggs and our lemon juice. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop in mixed. our sugar. All that sugar goes in there. All right. So we're yeah. mixed up. Yeah. Now we're going to come over to your double boiler. Okay. I'm going to get this guy going. Let's get that guy turned up and we start. And you're looking for? The consistency of honey. Just honey. Just like so what says. will happen is you do not want this to boil. Uh, mm -hmm. In the recipe, it tells you to cook it over a low fire. Okay. Best to do it over that double boiler. Okay. Go ahead and start okay. whisking away. How long do you think it takes? Until it's maybe done. a half an hour. Until it's done. <laughs> Half an hour. You're gonna get your arm work out. <laughs> this is this is one of those recipes that is um, uh, worth it, and we're gonna slowly raise the temperature of all of that sugar, okay. and the egg is going to turn into a custard with like a lemon meringue pie. Yes. That lemon custard. Okay. That's what this texture will be like. Okay. We've been able to find the original documents, the original cookbooks, a lot of them are online. And that's the neat cool. thing is Judy and my grandmother, they went to the LA Public Library mm -hmm. and the Huntington. Uh, she was on the rare books authorization list of some type. So oh. she could go into the rare books room, bring down the form of curry, open it up and look at wow. the actual recipes on that actual paper. That's amazing. To that me. is amazing. They bought thousands of books, and when uh, Judy finally retired and was downsizing to move up to Oregon, rather than bring all of these books with her, sell them, and she could have sold them. Uh, I think they were valued somewhere of $125,000 wow. for all the books. She donated them to uh, University of California yes. in Davis. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> gosh, this is like a dream for lemon lovers. Yeah, really good on scones, yeah. little biscuits. Even a biscuit, yeah. Grab a spoon, come dip. Some so now okay. we can put that into a serving bowl okay. of some type. These traditional recipes are still bringing people together. This is definitely one we'll be making and sharing again.